Brian, how are we? Right, I want this trailer. Oost, well back to the channel guys. Right, we are looking at selling my low loader trailer and looking at a new one today. That's what we're doing. So we've been up early, tipped the load, back to the yard, hitched on these port loads which we had for the party, which my mate brought up. Uh, and my trailer's all ready to go, but we do want a different one, a bigger one. So we've got, four, this is a three axle, we've got a four axle um, with a lift on it. It's just came up at last minute, so we're gonna go look at it right now because these occasions are rare, so you just gotta act fast. Right, we're just at Dunbar and I've got to drop these toilets off to Richard at Steps and then we are going to Les Mahago to look at this new trailer. Nigel, who I used to work with, he was a mechanic at SNT and he did my trailer recently, my loader. He is coming out kindly to meet me uh, to look at this one, to go have a wee run underneath it because we're not just going to buy this one over photos, we want to have a good wee swatch at it because uh, this is a big expense to get this so we'll cover all our bases. Right, you're obviously going to see in the next couple minutes what trail we are going to look at here. But see if you have a wee guest drop a comment right now, what make a trailer I am going to go look at. So there's Nutty Boom, Famenveld, Cash Bora, King, eh, Brosh House, and the list goes on. So you're more welcome to a wee comment below right now and see if you can guess what we're away to look at and what spec as well. Right, we are pushed for time because these boys are leaving at two o'clock supposedly for their Christmas night out. All right, for some, that gives us less than half an hour. I don't know where Nigel is, but here we go. Jesus Christ, it's hot. Can you face before somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Well, today. No, we've we've probably got them sitting in a shelter with there. A brand new boy said, boy said he'd done it at Hudson's a month ago. New drums too. Come here. Front to back here. We just fucking done. We done my one. Did you take it come out? That's what I wanted to try and get a framing build, but because they have BPW axles, but they just. Well, they're all different. You can get into with them with whoever. It's the way whoever whoever specs it. I can't remember where you're sticking here in this. Hey, I can do that. It's too much. In fact, no. I'll stick. I'll hit the shunt button. It's just there for effect. It's <laughs> probably been an add on that's been discontinued. Oh, nice uh, is that one? No, that's just the side lights. See, Sandy, I bought a four axle nuke the other day there, but it's a big, big lump of filler, but it's on a BBW. Is it? Pay for the day, this is the YouTube money coming in. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. what we're thinking of you. <laughs> you need it, Sandy. And, and we're, we're real hauliers, we're not just fakes. Uh, I don't want to go for my hand over and I do Three times. A whole lot playing there as a fan. Jesse, for test, we'll just put the chambers on it like, because it's a lot of a hassle. Are you stick a test on it? Or? I will test it. Yeah. So that's right. My, uh, my one's got ready to go. It's just those two cross members. You know, they go to the back. But Nigel, I tell you, did the whole lot, and then I've just got new airbags on as well. I think I've got shockies as well there down at Coilies. Uh, I mean, it was literally just do the and the lights got done, rewired, Stuart rewired the uh, junction box as well. Aye. Aye. <laughs> and a lot of boys chop the wire out and enjoy a wee bit of the ball, it's all good. Aye. You know, like, what, see like that box, a thousand. Which is... 
<laughs> right, negotiations have been done. We didn't film that side of it, but the trailer has been bought. We will go over the rest of that. Now, we do have to go find a way to get the money for it. So we're going to go have to phone Brian at DM Finance again. That'll be the second time this week. Um, trailer's clean, trailer's minted. It's going to get a year's MOT. We've done a deal with my trailer, as in trading in. Uh, quite happy with the situation. Still got to sign the dotted line to make sure we get it, but if we can do this, the trailer is going to be coming home. Hopefully painted a different colour though, because it is far further away from the right colour. We've gone from orange to yellow. We need to try and get up to blue. Anyway, we're going to go get some food, and then we're going to go to a charity truck run to finish off our evening. Right, the last two hours have been absolutely chaotic. So the two trucks originally, I was going to get Paul McEwen's or Ian, I was going to get Paul McEwen's Volvo or Ian's lorry, the Wrecker, but, or something like that. But the problem is, by the time we get to the other side of Glasgow back, we'd hit traffic and we'd miss the road run. Then, I had the shout to say I could have got a shot of uh, Jamie Sutherland's 113, which all my oars streamlined went for, went to go get that, but it's now in the air and we would definitely not get down in time back to get that, so I am sitting here a wee bit sad then we have the Vauxhall Cavalier we're going to go get but the we got I don't know if we're going to get that in time I think so we've settled for Raz is van SNT van for Beacon which is what I'm quite happy about because I could just sneak away and hide away that'll do is we'll just go for the fun and the run uh, yeah, I would like to take a lot of it, especially a 113 Streamline, all original. So thank you, Jamie, and thanks to everyone else who offered us trucks. Um, but we're going to go for a carry van with Beacons instead. Nice and simple and easy. Driving the big flash wagons, I am quite content with this. I can hide away. Right guys, that is us back at the yard uh, after looking at new trailer working and a great day at the great evening at the road run. Well done to Scott uh, LM Transport for organising that and everyone getting lost on the road run, but we all found each other again. It was quite funny. And Scott shaved his beard, like everyone they put their bit in, I think it was over £12,000 raid, which was absolutely fantastic. All the tractors, vans and trucks. Uh, really good evening out, really thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, and I did my bit for charity also as well. I got involved in the auctions and won Murdoch's 111 model. Um, that was definitely coming home with me. As soon as I seen it, I was like, <laughs> mine? <laughs> there was nobody else getting that. So very chuffed. But anyway, we're going to get back to business. How are we going to get this trailer home? In the sense of like, how are we going to buy it? <laughs> now, I know people in the comments are going to be saying, well, if you've done all that work to a trailer, why are you selling it for another trailer? It, the other trailer, it's the steer axles, it's the lifting, it's four axle, but it's got a lift. We can maybe start diverting to, into other work. It's newer. As much as I can start throwing money at this trailer, with the work I keep taking it to, it will just start pounding the hell out of it like it did with the flat. It doesn't matter how much money and parts you keep chucking at it, it does eventually. You're just replacing parts and parts because it's just not fit for the job anymore. Still a great trailer. Nuke Boom, solid, beasting trailer. Um, maybe just not good for the work we're kind of doing right now, which is a lot of forestry stuff. Uh, plus, because it's a wee bit shorter, we're struggling to fit the machines on. 
um, you can get them on, but it's just a tight squeeze. Um, and I wouldn't mind that extra axle just to spread the weight out. Plus, it has two steers on the back of it, so we can get round corners easy, because you do see that it just cuts the corners, this trailer. Um, it's like a, a toxic X that stabs you in the back every time you're not looking, which is quite often. Brian, how are we? Right, I want this trailer. My thoughts are on that. So I know we've got two options here with a small deposit, big deposit. We're going to struggle for the next wee while. I'd be more inclined to approve the finance quicker so I can get this deal through quicker. Let's go for this. Right, that's where I'll phone to Brian. He is Brian Maguire from DM Finance. Uh, him and his dad financed my truck when I first started up and they've done my van and that as well, numerous other things we've needed. But the trailer's always been bought and paid for, uh, which is good. Now, we're trying to decide how we're going to buy this. So GBT, are gonna, they want the trailer as a trade-in, right? And they've given me a good price for it, a fair price, and I'm getting a good deal on this trailer. But there still is a downfall. I'm not going to go with the figures of what, how much is it, it going backwards and forwards, but there's about a 20, around about a 20 grand sum we need to find, right? I could just buy it outright, but that would leave us very, very shy for the next couple of months because we are in December here, we're two weeks till Christmas, no one's really going to be paying their bills, we all know that. Um, and we're thinking of business sense, in January, February, it's probably going to be the same. So I don't think that would be good for cash flow. I'd much rather have it bought and paid for, but I've got to think of cash flow here. There's no point buying it outright and then coming skint. So we've got two options. Big deposit, no sorry, we've got two options, we deposit, big monthly payments <laughs> for the next couple of years, or big deposit, low monthly payments and just struggle for a couple of months, well keep it tight for the next couple of months. I want to try and go with the second option because instead of paying like £500 a month for the trailer eh, for the next couple of years, I could just be paying around about £300 a month. And it's a big difference that every month just it's a small payment instead of thinking like oh like and plus the other benefit it keeps me on the right side of the equity of the trailer so if it doesn't work out i own the most of the value of the trailer rather than the finance company owning it so i own the trailer more um so it does keep you on the right side of that so i think we're going to try that option <laughs> we've just got to Ooh. <laughs> please drop a comment down below what you think we should do i'd be happy to hear your opinion uh should we keep this trailer i don't think it's a wise idea because if we're thinking about selling it there's a reason we're selling it um uh, but we keep the trailer not buy any trailer sell that trailer we can do loads of things it says but it says big deposit we deposit medium deposit but then that just kind of cancels out either uh, option. I think you have to go for one of the other. If you throw a third middle option in there, you're just basically cancelling out both options um, and just kind of settling for a halfway settlement. No, go full in. But, guys, uh, on another note here, I have been here before when it comes to business. Um, last year was a great year, a fantastic year. This year's not been so good, I will admit. There's been some decisions made on my part, there's been influence from other parties that made things very difficult and we're still not quite through it i'll be honest um but it doesn't get us down we keep getting on we're in a better place now than we've ever been and we just keep moving forward now i've been here before when it comes to a situation of what direction to go in and i believe the only way to move forward is to go in deeper and it worked out very well for me last time and that was a very very tough time we were going for very tough times uh, and i'm hoping i'm not saying i'm hoping I'm hoping the same decision is going to be the same thing. We're going to go in deeper to come out stronger. That is what business can be like sometimes. If you do your research and minimise the risk as possible. Let's hope. But on another note, guys, I want to just point out in here, which I really do appreciate everyone stuck around to this point in the channel. I really do appreciate it. In my experience, my best moments have came out my darkest times. And diamonds are made under pressure. But the good times is when you're not at your best because you're not under pressure, um, you're not hungry, you're not stressed, you're not pushing, you're like, oh, look at me, everything's good, I've got money in the bank, and you get a bit lackadaisical and you take your eye off the ball. Um, I'll admit that is a situation that maybe came around this year and being under stress with other matters, which has kind of led us down a, a, the wrong way. But 
we're still here, we're still grafting, so all I take the positive is for that. If we can still be doing what we're doing right now after dealing with all of that, wait till we get back on track, we're gonna be a thousand times stronger, right? And the other thing is, guys, I appreciate everyone that watches this channel, and I appreciate everyone that comments, likes, subscribed, and shares all my content, where what platform it's over, because I try to make this as real as we can, right? I don't want this to be like, on social media, how people make it look like, oh, everything's great. If it's, I'll show you the good times and the bad times, right? And this is why we want the, the, the crossing, crossroad moments of which way we go. I'm going to go all in on everything. The social media, the SJM, everything. We are going to give everything full tilt and it ends up basically coming to a result of we went, it didn't work out and you've got nothing left, but I'd rather go that way and say we tried, or it comes out bigger than you could ever imagine. There's gonna be a lot of sleepless nights, there's gonna be a lot of uh, stress, upset, sacrifice again, but that is the thing, business will always be that in some way, because that's what I've discovered, even when it goes really well, like buying fancy vans, buying this, getting that, everything's great, 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 and it changes, you're constantly changing, you're constantly trying to navigate this stuff, and you're constantly learning. Um, I'm still all new to this and I love it. I love learning and I love grafting. And I found where I need to be again in this world to do this right. So guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for all your likes. Um, and watch this. We're going for it. We're not hanging about. We are going for every inch of this and I hope I can pull it off. And it is a, it is a task. But let's do it and let's show you what the real world is like. Thanks, guys, for watching this video and get ready for the next ones and the ones after that. Flat out, flat broke, oost!